Good afternoon everyone, Matt Soper here at Hampshire Carnivorous Plants. Um, it's the 2nd of September and I'd like to talk to you about a couple of things with Saracenia. First one being indigestion, second being phyllodia and winter leaves. Um, this is something we've been asked a lot this year, well the last few years actually. Um, people have contacted us asking why their plants have stopped growing pictures and started growing flat leaves instead. Well, at this time of year, it's quite normal for uh, not all, but a lot of Saracen to grow these phyllodia, which the plants can seal photosynthesize through. So it's quite normal and don't be alarmed by it at all. So things such as Saracenia flava, um, leucophila can do this. And this is a hybrid. This is an Oreophila cross morii. It's a really strong growing hybrid, but you can see it's starting to grow these winter leaves. And these are attained by the plant over the winter months in some species. Now another thing we've been asked recently is that people's plants have started to go brown at the tops. Again, don't panic, this is quite normal for this time of year, especially for species such as this Oreophila. Um, it's getting towards the end of its growing season. For us here, these are one of the first to produce pictures in the spring and one of the first to start to go over, as you can see quite clearly here. We've had an exceptionally hot year this year, which has also speeded up the process. Now what I like to do with plants like this, I never take the whole trap off, just the brown bits at the top. Can you see? Just remove these bits. Just tidy the plant up really, not everything. So this one here, for example, just the very top. And here, here. There we go, it's looking better already. Done. Now the reason I don't take the whole picture off is because you would be depriving the plant of the insect material the plant's caught through the growing season. All the insect material the plant catches this year will benefit the plant next year. So the longer you can leave the traps on, the better. If you're growing your plants outside, I wouldn't bother doing this. The reason I remove it here under glass is because, I mean, you might not get it where you are, but here we can get botrytis or grey mould starting to form on the old pictures. So by removing them, having good air circulation in the nursery, opening the doors and windows up regularly, you reduce the risk of botrytis. Um, in the past, this particular variety, Saracenia used to be a magnet for botrytis or grey mould. And um, we've also reduced it by using our capillary mat, which is available on the website. That keeps the plants just damp rather than too wet. So that's another, another good tip of what to do with your plants in the autumn and winter. Here's another one here. This is what we call indigestion. Can you see here? It's not a problem, it's not a disease. We have a few people sending us pictures of their plants, well, photographs of their plants to make it clearer and all their pictures are, have got this halfway up. This is where the plant has very quickly caught insect material. It starts to almost rot its way through the wall of the picture. Now, I would try and retain these leaves on the plant as long as possible, because as I said earlier, the plant will benefit and take the nutrition in to the crowns of the plant at this time of year. Leave them on as long as you can. And um, this is an example, this one's from out in the bog garden. This is a, a cross Morii Brooks hybrid. So just to show you, this here is what we call indigestion. A lot of people ask us, oh, do you think the plants catch enough insects? Well, let's have a look. You can see there. This is just to show you, by the way. Let's have a look. You see that? So you can see the Saracenia are extremely efficient at catching insect material. So when this remains on the plant, all this will be taken down into the crown of the plant and help the plant get bigger next year. Over the last few years, we've noticed that the plants out in our bog garden are far, far uh, quicker growing or, or bulking up quicker than anything under glass. And the main reason is because they're just catching so much more insect material outside. 
So do try and leave these on as long as you can because you'll benefit your plant the next growing season. Now I hope that short video has helped and put your minds at rest. So don't worry about your plants if you're getting this. It's quite normal. And uh, thanks for watching.